vampires, centaurs, werewolves. What do they all have in common? Well, besides the fact your mom's dressing up as a sexy version of one of these for Halloween, these creatures are also pretty regular as far as monster legends go. Part human, part bat, drinks blood. Part human, part horse, loves archery. Part human, part wolf, hates Kristen Stewart. But have you heard of the beast that tickles kids to death? The Japanese toilet cleaning demon, or the devil, so scary, it made Napoleon's brother poop his pants. If not, then settle down for our video on the seven strangest monster legends. In at number seven, the cockatrice. The cockatrice is a mythical two-legged dragon with a rooster's face and elongated bird claws, and it was supposedly born from the egg of a male rooster, which was incubated by a toad. Because that's how science works, kids. Ever wonder how Big Bird was created? Shaq sat on an egg, laid by a mangoose. Now you know. The legends of the cockatrice go back nearly a thousand years, first getting a mention in the nature compendium De Naturis Rerum in 1180, written by Alexander de Neckham. His mother breastfed King Henry II of England. That information isn't relevant, but it is kind of weird. Cockatrice reportedly had the power to kill people just by looking at them or breathing on them, and they were even mentioned in the Bible's Book of Isaiah. So if you believe in God and Jesus, you're religiously required to admit that this abomination once existed. So what can you do if you come across one? Just grab yourself a weasel, a rooster, or a mirror. Weasels are the only creatures which are immune to the cockatrice's death stare. The crow of a rooster causes their instant death, and the mirror thing, well, they're a little self-conscious of those fatty bird necks they've got going on. Hashtag cockatrice body shame. At 6. Blemier Good luck getting to sleep tonight, folks. This is the legendary Blemier. And according to the Greek historian Herodotus, they were a race of headless cannibals who lived in ancient Libya. But how did they eat people if they don't have a head? Asked nobody ever. Well, don't worry. The Blemier already solved that problem by having a giant gaping mouth smack bang in the middle of their torso. So if these fellas come in for a chest bump, I'd politely decline if I were you. Blemmy were believed to come in two distinct varieties, with one breed having eyes on their chest and another group with eyes on their shoulders. And the scary thing is that these creatures may have actually been based on real people. Some of antiquity's greatest scholars such as Pliny the Elder and Pomponius Mela documented the Blemmy as a real tribe from North Africa. And we now think that their depiction as headless beasts was due to their tactic of keeping their heads pressed close to their chest as they fought. With a huge scary chest mouth depicting their tooth-based necklaces and jewelry, I guess that makes these drawings of the Blemmy the earliest forms of racist caricature. Hurrah! In a number five, Leshy. In Slavic folklore, the Leshy is a woodland spirit who protects the forest loves animals, and has a wife and children. Sounds like a pretty straight-laced guy, until you find out he abducts children and tickles them to death in his cave. Oh, great. It's Grandpa's trial all over again. Known by various names, such as Borovoy, Mishkinis, and Lesnoy Didoshka, which translates as Forest Grandfather. Leshy's description is hard to nail down, because although he typically has hooves, a tail, and a grassy beard, this cheeky woodland spirit has the ability to change its appearance at will. Sometimes he'll appear as a regular old peasant man. Other times he'll morph into a tiny creature no bigger than an ant. And if he's feeling a little freaky, he might transform into a gigantic talking mushroom. Would you like to have an extended conversation with an oversized fungus as he tickles you to death in his dank forest love cave? No? Then don't forget to take off your clothes, turn them inside out, and put your shoes on the wrong feet. It's the only thing that puts him off. I guess Leshy's a little OCD. 
4. The Mongolian Death Worm This meter-long deadly worm is one of the few creatures on this list which may actually exist. With various reports claiming that the Mongolian death worm still squirms its way around the Gobi Desert today. In the 1920s, the Mongolian Prime Minister Damdin Bazar once famously described the worm as shaped like a sausage about two feet long, has no head, no leg, and it is so poisonous that merely to touch it means instant death. The death worm apparently secretes a searing acid which can dissolve a human in minutes, and some legends even claim it can kill you from several meters away, using some kind of mysterious electric discharge. Several expeditions have so far failed to track down this elusive creature, but maybe these folks just weren't wearing the right color, because the worm is said to have a thing for the color yellow, and it also loves laying eggs inside the guts of camels. So if you're struggling to think of a birthday present for the Mongolian death worm, there's a couple of ideas right there. Number 3. The Filth Liquor Imagine you're an ancient Japanese storyteller, and you've got all the time in the world to come up with an imaginative creature to scare children or impart some kind of moral story. How about a dragon? Now, Sea serpent? That's just a dragon for the ocean. Some kind of horse. Oh, monkey. Now you're not even trying, Steve. Oh, okay then. What about a skinny demon covered in warts that comes into your dirty bathroom and licks it clean late at night? <laughs> yeah, let's roll with that. Akaname is a greasy-skinned frog-faced demon from Japanese folklore. And if your bathroom is dirty, this little fellow will turn up naked to your home to clean it right up, licking every nook and cranny with its long, creepy tongue. Many legendary creatures are said to be based on real incidents and encounters with previously unknown animals or humans acting strangely. And if that's true, I don't want to know the story this guy was based on. Slime, bath scum, hair, human poo are all on the menu for the Akanane. And it is said this monster represents the fear we all have of going to the bathroom late at night. Is it just me? Or does this sound like something R. Kelly would pay you 200 bucks to do? 300 to stay and watch. At 2. The Monkfish You've eaten monkfish, right? That weird, kind of sweet-tasting fish that you only order when there's nothing better on the menu. But what about an actual monkfish? Also known as the sea monk, this was a man-sized sea creature which looked like a monk and lived in the sea. Pretty self-explanatory now I read it out loud. It was seen off the coast of the Danish island of Zeeland in the 16th century, and its sighting was so surreal it was even mentioned in several famous poems for centuries afterwards. Weirdly, its description bears a striking resemblance to the Japanese legend of the Omibotsu, which was a monk-like sea spirit supposedly created when a priest drowns. So I guess if you want to see if this is true, it's time to break out your priest drowning kit. I've got mine ready. Since the sea monk's appearance, many have speculated as to what this creature actually was, with some suggesting it was an angel shark and others claiming it is more likely to have been a squid or errant walrus. Personally, I like the idea of an errant walrus. He don't play by no rules because he's a maverick renegade. And at number one, the Jersey Devil. Many hideous and deformed creatures have sprung from the fetid wastelands of the Jersey Shore. But the Jersey Devil has one thing those permatan remedial school dropouts never will. The body of a kangaroo and giant bat wings. Take that, Snooky, you wingless freak. Believed to reside in the Pine Barrens of South New Jersey, the Devil's legend dates back several centuries, with the Native American Lenape tribe the first to document its existence. They described it as being born as a regular child, before quickly morphing into a hideous beast with hooves, a goat's face, giant wings, and a forked tail. This demon's blood-curdling scream wasn't heard for another hundred years as a local priest apparently exorcised it from the area. Phew! Good job we didn't drown him, after all. But others weren't so lucky. United States Navy Commodore Stefan Decatur 
saw the creature in the early 1800s and ordered cannonballs to be fired in its general direction. One cannonball apparently hit the devil, but with no effect whatsoever. Napoleon Bonaparte's older brother Joseph was also reported witness, who saw the Jersey Devil while hunting in New Jersey in 1820. Various people have claimed to have seen or shot down the Jersey Devil in the years since, and today, many are still on the hunt for this goat-faced atrocity. But we've yet to see conclusive proof this thing ever existed. However, if it does, let's hope the Philadelphia Zoo doesn't get their hands on it, because in the early 20th century, the zoo's management offered a $10,000 reward for the creature's dung. And I'll bet today that figure'd be raised to 20,000 by a Mr. R. Kelly. So there you have it. Those are some of the strangest monster legends we could find. Do you know any better ones? Have you seen any of these monsters? And do you have the number of a good lawyer for when R. Kelly sues our butts off? Please let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to check out our other videos too, including our recent investigation into the seven sexiest kinds of bananas that ever existed. Oops. Oh, I mean the seven creepiest clips of found footage. Watch that now.